table or a pretty much anywhere. Do help yourself. No need to wait for me to open another bottle. <laughs> no, God, no, seriously. It, everything's up for grabs. Oh, there's a bottle of vintage port in the cupboard under the stairs that I'm saving for a special occasion. So don't... Oh, you already... Well, uh, uh, don't worry about it. No, seriously, it's fine. <laughs> Only booze. I hope you enjoyed it. Disgusting, was it? Oh. Uh, oh. Good thing you saved me the disappointment then. Oh, sorry, just need to get the door. You go on. Help yourself to whatever you want. <sighs> hey, uh, come in, come in. Everything's... Oh, hey. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you turned up. I was uh, starting to think you wouldn't. Uh, here. <sighs> uh, thanks for coming. Sorry for the slightly cold welcome just then. I've had to say hello to so many plus ones and, to be honest, random strangers that I felt bad about turning away. I almost didn't even look at your face. Glad I did, of course. <laughs> Mm, now let's shut that snow up. Oh god, it's cold out there. Can I take your coat? Oh, oh, this is a nice coat. So warm. I need a coat this cozy. I bet that snow felt like nothing wearing this. <laughs> no, well, nice and warm in here, so you won't need it. I'll hang it up here. You know, if anything, it's too warm in here. So many more people showed up than I was expecting. Uh, nah, it's okay. I mean, I'm massively over-prepared. You know me. I bought way more food and drink than I thought I'd need. Turns out it was probably just the right amount. Though, I'm a little concerned I might run out of Lipkuchen. God, I love that stuff. Turns out, so does everybody else. Oh, no way! You brought more. I didn't even ask. How did you know? <laughs> well, thank you so much. Hey, that's a way better idea than bringing wine. Everybody else has brought wine so far. If they brought anything at all, that is. I don't know where I'm going to put it all. I think I'll ask most people to take home whatever they brought with them. Chances are it won't have been opened. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can tell, can't you? I am a little stressed. First time hosting a party like this, and it's so busy. So many unfamiliar faces. So, hey, I'm extra glad you're here. It's nice to see someone I actually recognize. Hmm. How are you feeling, by the way? I know you were a little under the weather with that cold. I wasn't sure you were going to make it here. Seems like you've gotten over it? <laughs> oh, that's... I'm so glad. I was looking forward to seeing you. When I thought you might not make it, I was... Uh, well, it would have been a shame. You know, I'm just going to... Uh, Put these Lebkuchen away in the cupboard here. I'll get them out if they're really needed, but... Yeah, I think I'll keep them for later in the evening. They look too good to just leave out on the table, you know. You picked some really nice ones. Obviously, you know, help yourself if you want one. They're yours, after all. <laughs> You're very generous. Now, um... Who here do you know? Anybody? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure you do, actually. I mean, I know so few people here, so <laughs> it's not likely you would. Oh, maybe you know Dan over there? He's the... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's him. Dan the long guy. Having a sit down over there in the corner. Hmm. God, he doesn't look so good. You better not be having another episode. Ah, uh, well, 
I'm sure he can sort himself out with an ambulance and everything if he is. So still, I guess I'd best keep an eye out for him. One more thing to think about. Right, yeah, you've never actually met him, have you? Everybody seems to have heard of him, though. Weird how that happens. Yeah. Uh, oh, and over there, the one dressed up as a Christmas elf. <laughs> That's Ellison. I think you know her, right? From that TTRPG group? Yeah, that's her. The one whose roommate suddenly up and left after meeting a total stranger. That whole story really did the rounds, huh? Left her in a bit of an awkward situation. I don't know why she came as an elf. I told her it wasn't a fancy dress, but she insisted. Oh well. Looks weirdly good on her, to be honest. Like, that's how she's meant to be. <laughs> Anyway, uh, honestly, right now, I think that's everybody you'd know, or even know of, so. Uh, you look a little anxious. I'd be too. Don't worry about it, I'm sure they're all good folks. But if you want, uh, just stick with me for a bit. You're under no obligation to actually talk to anybody else if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. That's fine by me. In fact, I was hoping you'd say that. Hmm. Well. Keep this between us. But, um. I think I bit off a bit more than I can chew with this thing. It's fun and all, but. Not what I'd normally do at Christmas. <sighs> No, I'm definitely more of a chill hang sort of person. You know what I mean? I'd rather spend quality time with a small group, or just one person, even, than have to juggle everybody in a massive gathering like this. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm, I guess I thought it would be good to push myself a bit. Well, I've definitely done that. I'm really pushing it. <laughs> I guess it could be worse. It's good to know your limits. And, well, I found them. <laughs> God, really? How come you always thought I'd be good at this kind of thing? Hosting a party? Nah, nah. That's not me. <laughs> cool. Nah. Not me. Well, uh... I guess I can see what you mean. People clearly want to be around me, for whatever reason. <laughs> Look at everybody here. Or maybe they're just here for the free booze. I hope it's at least a combination of free booze and charisma, and not just the alcohol. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. But nah, I promise you. However I seem outside of a situation like this, I'm not a big party kind of guy. In truth, I'll be glad when this is over. Although, uh, I'll be sad to see some people go. Yes, you, of course. <laughs> by being here, you increase the number of people I actually know by like 20%. And the number of people I really wanted to show up by, uh, well, a lot more than that. No, maths is not my thing. What's one as a percentage of zero? It's like infinity, isn't it? One is infinitely more than zero. I think any non-zero number is infinitely more or less than zero, actually, right? So you could be one-tenth of a person and still have increased the number of people I care about at this party by infinity. <laughs> but uh, no, you are indeed a whole entire single person. I mean, one person. I didn't mean single, like, fuck. Uh, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm gonna stop blathering. Making no sense. Um, hey, can I get you a drink? <laughs> Sorry, I only just realised that I hadn't offered you one until now. Unbelievably rude of me. 
Mmm, would you like beer? Wine? I've got loads of spirits and I could do you a cocktail. Oh, there's some mulled wine on the hob as well. I made it myself. Nobody's shown that much of an interest yet. They keep smelling it and saying how nice it smells and then not drinking any of it. Perhaps I should have offered them some. Hmm. No, I haven't offered most people a drink yet this evening. They seem to all just be helping themselves. Yeah, that's fine, you know. That's why everything's out on the side. But, yeah, you want to try some of this mulled wine? I thought I did a pretty good job with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe if people see you having some, they'll finally come and get some for themselves. Hmm? Oh, the little sign. Yeah, well, you know, I'd left the hot plate on keep warm and I didn't want anybody to hurt themselves on it, so I thought best make a little sign to say it was hot. Was that silly of me? I guess the water vapour coming off the saucepan should have been enough of a clue. <laughs> oh, cute, huh? Well, I'm glad you think my neuroses are cute. Better than thinking it's stupid, I suppose. Now, here you go. Careful, the glass is kind of hot. Well, of course you know it's hot. Thanks to my sign. Hmm. I'm going to have one for myself too, actually. Might as well enjoy the spoils of my own hard work. Well, no, okay, making mulled wine isn't that hard, really. It's just a bunch of spices and stuff chucked into some red wine and heated up. <laughs> but hey, I had to leave the house to buy those spices. I mean, who has star anise and cloves just hanging around? Right, exactly. Hours of hard labour, blood, sweat and tears went into this hot, spicy grape juice. <laughs> now give it a try. Oh, fuck, that's so good. Mm. Why don't we have this kind of thing all year round, huh? Why does it just have to be a Christmas thing? Oh, shit, you're right. Maybe if this wasn't a special Christmas thing, it'd be disgusting. What if it's only the magic of Christmas that makes it so good? Hold on, let me take another sip and, like, analyse this. Uh, I'm aerating it. You've got to get that full flavour profile. But, nah, I'm pretty sure that regardless of it being Christmas or not, that'd be delicious. Maybe not the sort of thing you'd want on a hot summer's day, I guess. Hmm. I wonder what iced mulled wine is like. Might try that if there's any of it left at the end of the evening. Speaking of which, yeah, look. Now you've had some, I can see some people glancing over. Or oh, they want it. They want my mulled wine. <laughs> nice. Let's um, move away. Over there. Let them gather around the spiced watering hole. <laughs> oh, why do I feel so silly all of a sudden? I've only had a few mouthfuls of wine. Mm, no, this is my first drink of the evening. I mean, I've had some water and stuff, but nothing alcoholic yet. Uh, I think I had in mind that I should pace myself, because I've got to be here for the full thing, you know. I can't dip out early if I get too drunk. But... I probably could have had one or two by now and be fine. Mm. Ah, such a warm feeling. You enjoying it? Yeah, good. Good. I mean, it would have been fine if you'd said you weren't. It wouldn't have completely torn my soul to shreds or anything. But, you know, good that you are enjoying it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I am spending a lot of time talking to you. What do you think I should circulate? Is that it? That's something people say at parties, right? When they're the host. Sorry, must circulate. Well, fuck it. I'm enjoying talking to you right now. And to be honest, I don't expect that to stop anytime soon. So, here I'll stay. If anybody else wants me, they can come and get me. Though, look around. 
You really see anybody who cares? Nah. Yeah, honestly, I... I'd be perfectly happy if it was just you and me. There's a tiny part of me right now that wants to get rid of everyone else. Just be like, right, that's it. Everybody out. Then we could enjoy an evening in peace and quiet. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> well, now that this wine is loosening me up a bit, even if it's a bit of a placebo, because surely it hasn't had time to actually affect me yet. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, we could probably just pretend like we're the only two people here if we wanted and nobody would notice. It's very chill. I mean, look, there's already people kissing and shit occasionally. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed that until just now. So, like, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that's what we should do, of course, just that we could, right? And probably nobody would notice. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Yeah. I could definitely stand to shut up a little more often. I do go on about the silliest shit. In fact, you should have told me to shut up much sooner. This is basically your fault. What was I even talking about? Kissing? Me and you? Kissing? So silly. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, I don't know. Daft. Ugh, I don't normally think about that kind of stuff. I don't know why I brought it up now. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, I, I am available. It's just not normally something that's on my mind with most people. I just don't think about it. I didn't even put any mistletoe up, which, now I think about it, I probably should have uh, for other people. I mean, there are plenty of people here who would definitely appreciate it. Although, uh, perhaps not, the lack of mistletoe hasn't stopped them making out on my sofa. God, those two have really been going at it for a while now. Ah, well, they're having fun. And as far as I can tell, nobody else looks uncomfortable about it. So uh, I let them eat cake, I guess. Or let them eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Laughing at my own joke. Terrible. Oh. Empty glass. Uh, where's the nearest booze? Beer station four. Here. Want one? Ah, go on. Mm. Good. Uh, so, like, I guess you're single too, then, right? Oh, God, no. No, no, no. You don't have a. Uh, what even is a single vibe, really? No, I just meant that if you weren't available, maybe you just said something when I made that stupid joke about kissing earlier. So, yeah, I figured it. Available. Yeah? Uh, okay, uh, that's good. Uh, good to know. God. Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I just keep saying... Silly things. I'm not normally like this, even after a drink or two. I mean, I've literally had a single glass of wine and a few mouthfuls of beer. It shouldn't really be affecting me at all, so... Uh, yeah, I feel silly. Um, I... I guess I do know what it is, actually. I think it's you. For some reason, talking to you one-on-one -on -one like we are now is making my brain go stupid. Case in point, I just said my brain has gone stupid. What does it mean? We'll never know. Uh, uh, thank you. Yes, good. Uh, tell me to shut up more. See, didn't I say? That's what I need. I need you to tell me to... <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Perfect timing. <laughs> Okay, you know what it is? I know what it is, really. I think it's that I have this massive 
enormous. I mean, obnoxiously huge. <laughs> no. No, not that. <laughs> I mean, yes, sure, but not... No. A huge crush on you is what I was going to say. A massive, enormous, obnoxiously huge crush on you. Ugh. <coughs> no, I'm fine, everybody. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, Dan, my lungs not collapsing. That's just you, mate. Look, <coughs> I'm fine. You can all go back to what you were doing. <coughs> oh, that didn't take long. Nice to know how much they all care. Yeah, I heard what you said, and, uh... Yeah, I mean... I just don't really know how to process this. <laughs> I suppose, uh... Cool. Uh, good. I mean, cool. Cool? No, that's not the right... Oh, God. Enough of that. Not doing me any good. Um, right. Just so we're clear, I have a crush on you, and you have a crush on me. We're mutually crushing? Right. Right, so yeah, so... Seems to me, there's only one sensible course of action, right? I mean, if you're crushing on me, and I'm crushing on you then we should... Oh, fuck. I really wish I had put mistletoe up in some places. That'd be perfect right now. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just do this without. Merry Christmas.